made up for this uh, inflatable. It's a bit of plywood like this. As you can see, I've got a few puncture hole marks. That's from the uh, spikes of snapper, another fish, and they've gone through. So I put that in there. It's got three sections: the floor and each uh, pontoon on each side. It takes about five minutes to pump up with your foot. It's got a safety valve. It comes out if you pump too hard. It's not burst anything. That's one pontoon blown up, probably about three or four minutes. The wind has really come up quite strong. The birds have gone. It's taken me like 20 minutes to get all the gear ready. And now everything's gone like that. So I'm just going to tear into it anyway because fuck it, I've already got all the gear set up and I'm down here. It's often the way, isn't it? And fish, you know, particularly school fish like that, they can be there and then five minutes later disappear. They only come in a certain time of the year and I want to make the most of why they are out there, so I'm going to go out there anyway. Face come. Up. Face up. Good dog. This little Mercury 3.3 horsepower rips along man for a tiny motor and fucking hoofs along eh? This is what I'm using at uh Pretty much represents what's out here today. And it works okay, I've caught a few fish on it. Gonna stick it behind us and troll along this channel here. Until we get a strike. I'm loving this little Mercury motor. I only just bought this, it's the second time. I've used it, it's the first time I've used it on this uh, nifty inflatable. Normally I've used it on the back of my little pram or dinghy, but this is uh, much more comfortable, much better. Perfect size for it. A few fish diving out the front there, we might get a strike over there. Go a little bit faster. Yeah, a couple of birds just working the water in front of us here. That's looking hopeful for a fish over there. Fish on! Hell, oh no! Seagull! Shit! Fucking seagull caught it! Holy fuck! Fucking seagull! Oh, not good, not good! Not good at all! I thought I had a fish on with a bloody seagull. It's caught in his beak. This is not good. Shit! Uh. Bugger! How yeah, the hell are we going to get this out of here, mate? It's gone in his nostril. Jeez, you can bite fucking hard. Right, we got him free. Got him free. Where you go, mate? Where you go? The fucking seagulls attacking him, he's okay. All the years of fishing out here, I've never caught one of those like that. 
not a nice feeling to be honest though I didn't want to do that I thought I had a fish on and then I looked around and my bloody fishing line was up in the sky so what the fuck's going on here like I'm flying a bloody kite anyway uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again we've got a few birds working the water up in front of us here diving there's going to be some fish around we had no strikes we've been out for about half an hour now well, we caught some bird. Fish on. Not a big fish, only a little one. But the first one, it's definitely not a bird this time anyway. See, there's birds all around me diving. It's only a small one, but we'll take it. You see the wind just ripping me along. Oh, it's coming out of the water. It's not too bad. Because I'm going straight towards it as the wind's blowing the boat down the channel. In a minute it's going to realise it's hooked. I don't think it's very big. What have we got? Oh, yep. Big enough for the pot, that's for sure. Oh, mate. Here you go. What's that pace, eh? Got to watch this hook here because I've got an inflatable. And uh, we don't want to have a stuff up. And as you guys, if you watch my channel, you know that I have plenty of stuff ups. A hey, pace. Looks like he's blooded himself before I've even got him off. These little fish are actually quite nice eating. These smaller ones, they're not bad at all. Nice eating size, I like the smaller fish. The bigger ones serve the big horse type bloody kawaii, great fun to catch, but really good for fish cakes and fish fingers. But these guys here are great for sashimi, really good. You having fun pace? Probably not, you look a bit cold mate. It's actually not that cold out here. Just gonna bleed them and then stick them on here. We've got some ice in here and we've got some burley in there. You can actually take the guts out like this in one hit. Grab the first two gills, pull the guts out. And uh, we're all done at sea. Give it a clean later on, but that's pretty good. That's our first little eating, first nice little eating kawaii. That'd be a nice wee sashimi kawaii that. Oh nice. Let's wash the blood off. Don't want to have sticky blood on everything. It's not nice. And uh, the wind's blowing us right down there. You can see there's still birds working around us. We just uh, carry on. I'm loving this little motor. I really am, it's a cracker. Works so well. Here's my line out. It's gonna do, do a big circle, do a bit of line out. That'll do for the pot. Ah, fuck. Got me a bloody beauty, put the hook right on my finger and it came out again, so he got the last laugh on me. That hurt. I think we're going to take you in Pace, because you look cold and miserable mate. I'll drop you off at the truck and carry on fishing. Yes I will. Yeah mate, you look cold and miserable. Away you go, in your box. Up the front. Doesn't look happy. Such a neat little motor to use. It's a piece of piss, it really is. Look at that. Yeah, push the boat back out to sea, why don't you? Well, the wind should leave it here anyway. So we'll leave him at the truck and come back and see if we can catch a couple more fish. Okay, mister, you're staying on there. You're yeah, wagging your tail. You're happy in there now, are you? You went very happy out at sea. And I'm gonna stick on a warm top because it's bloody freezing out there and I'm only wearing a shirt, nothing else. Bin ready. Go straight in the bin. There we go. 
produce it. I won't make the same mistake as the last one. Stay on, buddy. Not a bad fish, fat little fish. Come on. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. So we're in the right place at the right time. No birds around me. Just lucky, really. Just a wee fella. Ah, oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Come on, mate. These are the eaters. These are the ones that taste good. Stay on. Stay on, fella. Be all over the flash. Here we go. Nice eating size. Not even that big, just a fighter. Lovely. Fish on straight away. Man, I just turned my bloody camera on as soon as I did. I got a hit. All the fish out here are about the same size as this fella. Nice eating size for sashimi or in the pan. The most tender kawaii you'll eat is this side. They're the sweetest, they're the best. And this guy is going to go straight into the box. Just like this. Open it up. Here he comes. Just trying to jump out of the water, loosen that hook off. Got to keep the tension on. Not much playing going on here, just straight in. Oh, he's pretty small. And that's the size of all of them, and they are great eaters. They're a nice tender fish, and they taste good. Oh, he's gonna fight a little bit. He's gonna fight a little bit. Stay on, mate. I'm gonna lose you. Stay on, mate. There he goes. Oh, he's a nice one. Yeah, he's a fatty. Oh, happy day. Oh happy day, 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 oh happy day. Hey again, mate. Welcome to the uh, world of Clay Tall Stories. Uh, life's about to have a new muni now. You're going to uh, go on my belly. I can't believe I hooked into a fish just then. I was going quite fast. The next minute smack. A little fish just hit it. How beautiful is that? Got a good system going here. Just open the bin up, they fall on there and they fall on the bin. And that way they don't get lost. Oh, and then they fall back out again and the barb on the hook pierces the side of the boat. That could happen too, couldn't it? Up, up. Good boy, stay. So is the boat. It's moving around quite a bit. So trying to connect up, you've got to be careful. This thing's blowing around a fair bit. Trying to, trying to get up next to it's not easy. Try that again. Yeah, the wind's fair getting into it. Jump off, face. 
Come on, Pace. Good boy. Good dog. Well done, mate. Well done. No mucking around. We'll turn that motor off in a minute. Good dog. All right. Fish for dinner. That's enough for me. Sweet ass bro. Lovely. Oh, nice and warm in here. It's had the sun all day. Welcome to the Flatbull and Floozy. This is the houseboat my father built and gifted me. He wanted to keep working on it, but he got too sick, so he gave it to me and I've carried on with it. Still need lots of work. That's why I'm sleeping tonight. And uh, you can see that's our view outside. She's got two motors. Two 10 horsepower Yamahas are put on. That's at the front. I'm pleased to see that that boy has not come tangled. I've been working on that. It's been getting stuck, but it's actually holding together well. Right, let's cook up some dinner because I'm bloody hungry and it's been a big day. Fish it is. Swallow. Australian swallow living in here. Thought I saw a bit of bird poo in here. I know where he's coming in. Right, get this bloody thing out. That pan up. Leaf lard. Rendered pig fat taken from around the kidney, the best fat for cooking your fish. Just gonna heat that up. I haven't even filleted my fish yet. Got a bird flying around inside here. It's not a filleting knife, it's my pig stick knife. It's not sharp, it's quite blunt because I did an animal. Uh, but it's all I've got right now, so that's gonna fillet this fish for my dinner tonight. Yeah, not sharp at all. I've got a nice filleting knife sitting at home in my kitchen. But this will be fine for the job. They're very, very blunt. But we will get by with it. Pace, are you hungry? That's your dinner there, mate. Eat up. Eat up. Don't be fussy, you love it, that's what you're getting. Your face. He actually likes cow white. One fillet. Very blunt knife, not ideal, but it'll do. Here you go, Pace, you can chew on that, mate. You can have this as well. Here, Pace. We're both going to eat all this fish, we're not going to waste any of it. What I don't eat, Pace will eat. Gonna feed me, mate. Yeah, boy. He loves car white. Right, couple of fillets for the pan. Oh, we better chop this sucker in half too, eh? Go that way, yeah. Good boy, is that good, eh? Is that good, eh? Good boy, eat up. Good dog. Get your dinner tonight, son. One kahawai can feed me and Pace. This lemon and dill was gifted to me by Mike from Weka Digital Media. Check out his channel, he does a lot of fish cooking and he gave me this and it's brilliant. Love the pink Himalayan salt. Heaps of it. Each side, some of that. And then Mike's lemon and dill. Thanks for that there, Mike. It was great having you, mate. Oh, we might need to give this a bit of a shake up. I've just uh, taken it out because it's 
been in there a bit long without being used. So we're just going to spread it on there like that. The last time I used it was when Mike was here. God, it smells good. That'll work. That'll be sweet as, bro. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out, mate. You're here in New Zealand watching Filthy Pig under clay tool stories make a dish that looks as rough as pig's guts, but mate, I'll tell you what, it'll taste bloody good. The good chomping and chewing, I'll tell you that right now. You can have your fancy restaurants and all the rest of it, but you cannot beat something fresh out of the ocean. Just gonna let that heat up a little bit more if we put that on there. This is actually something else that Mike gifted me I still haven't used. So looking forward to using that this summer for barbecues, it'll be good. I reckon this is just about hot enough to poo some fish in, so we'll see how we get on. Mate, you've already eaten yours. I bet you left your bloody head though, Jake, you your head. Hey, Pace. Look, mate. What's that, hey? What's that? You didn't eat your head, hey? Come on, outside. You can finish that off. You know what I mean, Here. Yeah. Eat up. Good boy, eat up. Good dog, eat up. No, didn't say take it back inside. Outside, eat up. Eat up. Out there. You know what you're supposed to do. Hey mate, what's the story? Hey, you take that outside. Come on, outside. Take it outside. Where you go? Outside. Where you go? Outside. No, outside. Outside. My crikey. Outside. Just stay out there with it. Don't bring it back inside. Or, you're going to have to stay out there. Okay? You want like that. Oh, it's looking a bit flasher than uh, Pace's. Fish head, isn't it, Pace? You're not having it though, mate. It's pretty damn tasty. I am going to eat this food because I am incredibly hungry. Look, it's just falling to bits. Oh, man. I can see why Mike uses that lemon and dill. That is delicious. That really is sweet. Mmm. I'll get blown around a bit tonight because it's a bit of wind, but I like being on the boat, which is like this, keep an eye on things. I've got fish for Rawi tomorrow, fish for Dayla, fish for my family, a few for my friends, plenty of it. And no, mate, you're not getting any. No, you're not. It's quite stormy out there, quite windy. Next job on this is to do some paint work and then the bottom of it. It needs a bit of work. What do you want, mate? No, you're not having it. You've got your head. There's your head down here. Pace, down here. Pace, come. Pace. Eat your head. Yeah, eat up. Don't be fussy. Eat up. I'll eat it. Eat up. Eat up. I think he wants the Dylan lemon on his car wire. Okay. No, you're not having mine, mate. There's the fairy dad built the other one, the big one. I really appreciate my father gifting me this. It just means so much to me. He's built it so well. And if I can't get the bit of dirt where I'm living now in the old farmhouse, which I'm trying to, then this will be my home. It sort of is my home anyway. I spend a lot of time out here when I'm just getting away from the world because look at it. There's no neighbours. Well, the only neighbours you've got to go to this old boat here. No one's been on that for ages. And the other fairy that dad built. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my clip. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. See you later. Get it easy live out here.